Scorpions and welcome to your September 2018 tarot reading. My name is Nikki. In this reading um, we're going to do a focal card or a guidance card for the month of September. That's what you see before you and then we are going to do a timeline reading um, which is a card for each week of the month of September. And um, for your focal card, I am using uh, the lovely Wisdom of Avalon Oracle deck. I used it last month, and I'll probably use it again because I'm completely in love with that deck. And then for the timeline reading, I will be using my Chrysalis deck. Now, like always, I want to say um, that this is a general reading for all Scorpions, so if you are interested in a personalized reading just for yourself or you are seeking the, an answer to a burning question, uh, please feel free to visit my website. I will have that linked in the description below. Um, it is $15 per tarot reading. The uh, website's very easy to follow, the instructions on there. and. Um, I simply need, after you make a purchase, I simply need an email with your name, your birth date, and your question at hand. And I am um, usually very generous with the details and, um, and the length of the reading. So you get a lot for a little. Okay. I have already shuffled and meditated over the card, so we are just going to get right into it and move, move forward. So with your focal card or your guidance card for the month of September, you receive the eagle. And I'll move it closer so you can see what it says. It says spirit, integrity, connection to the angelic realm. So the eagle is um, a wise bird. He, he flies over, um, over everything in the sky. He can see everything. So, to me, what that is telling me um, for you guys is that in the month of September, you need to remember to look at the big picture. Okay, um, try not to get stuck on the, the little trivial things um, that, you know, we like to get stuck on. Uh, all the little details. Um, you, want to, you want to remember to look at, look at the big picture, okay? Where is this going to lead to? Where is this going to go? Um, in the long run, what is this going to look like or how is it going to be? Because um, that's all that really matters. Okay, so, you know, just keep that in mind. And also, um, it says connection to the angelic realm. You know, there may be messages coming to you in the month of September. You may be having more vivid dreams. You may be um, seeing more sync or experiencing more synchronicities in your life. These are messages and, and signs that you are being guided. Um, so prayer is definitely important in this, in the month of September. So remember to connect spiritually, um, to the angelic realm or your spirit guides or what have you. Okay. So moving forward for the first week, of September you have the moon and that's kind of fitting really <laughs> with the eagle the moon is is uh, seeing things a little unclearly okay um, it's being um, intuitive instead of logical it's that dreamy state of being so in the first week, um, again, you may be having more vivid dreams. You may be um, connecting spiritually, and sometimes it's hard to logically make sense out of those uh, those experiences. Um, it's more about feelings in the first week um, than it is about logical thought. And it is turned upright. So, I mean, I think this is something that is needed at this time for your spiritual growth. And, you know, it can seem a little confusing. The moon, um, we, we don't get the most clear picture with the moon. 
Um, but like I said, it's more about your intuition. It's more about feeling. If you let those things guide you in the first week, I think that you're going to be all right. Try not to think about it too logically um, because it's not going to make sense. Okay, for the second week, you have the Nine of Spirals. Okay, the Nine of Spirals is simply the Nine of Wands, and it is reversed. Um, this is the winds of change. You know, this is uh, chaos and, and things um, going awry for you or, or being super busy in the second week. Um, it, it can be a positive thing. You know, change can be positive. Uh, the tides turning, the wind blowing in a different direction type of, of thing. Um, it can be a good thing. But at this time, at this particular time in the second week, it's going to feel like it's a bad thing. It's going to feel overwhelming. It's going to feel um, like it's just a bit too much for you at this time. You got too much going on. Um, it's going to feel chaotic. And, um, and that's why it's in reverse. Uh, this is not going to be something that's, that's um, easily welcomed. So I'm not sure what is going on in, in all of your lives um, in the second week, but <clears throat> you are um, going through some kind of change and, and you know things are getting shook up, things are getting blown around and, um, and it's not going to be easily met. Um, and you'll notice that it looks like there's ravens or even eagles right here, if you can see that, flying in the sky. So this is a reminder, a reminder of the eagle that you got, okay, for the month of September, to remember to look at the big picture. This is the week where you'll probably try to get, you know, held up or stuck on the little trivial things, um, but you need to be reminded, look above all that. And, and see what the big picture is because um, the trivial things, they don't matter. For the third week of September, you have the Five of Scrolls. Now the Five of Scrolls means sacrifice. Okay, this, you can see there's like a sword in the stone, like the Excalibur sword. Now, this is like a bittersweet battle victory you know it's like you've won some you've lost some um, but you've had to sacrifice a lot for what you've won and in the third week you may be asked to sacrifice more um, this might be a week where you are putting aside your own feelings and your own wants to serve others but again be reminded to look at the the bigger picture um, and to take the higher road uh, because sometimes our needs and wants aren't um, as pressing as other people's needs and wants. And that's okay. You know, there's, there's a time for everybody's needs and wants. Um, <clears throat> but yes, in the third week, you may be asked to sacrifice your own needs and wants for somebody else's or some greater good. In the last week of September, you have the Watcher in reverse. And this is the Queen of Mirrors or the Queen of Cups. And um, I think this is actually some symbolic for yourself, Scorpio, because uh, cups are water and you are water. You're a water sign. And um, this is a very mystical creature um, like yourself. And um, it's in reverse. So that's, that's simply telling me that you know, you're feeling a little off key, okay? Your intuition is off, and you're prob and you're probably wore out, um, and it's probably got to do with what's going on in the, here in the second week, and definitely what's going on here in the third week with sacrificing your own wants and needs. Because even though it can be necessary at times, it can also be very trying and very exhausting at times to serve others. So, um, in the last week, you're really going to be feeling the toll of what the month has brought you. And I don't really see them as negative things that are going on, but I see them as necessary things that are going on. So keep that in mind. And like I said, 
look at the big picture, be reminded of the big picture always throughout the month of September, and all shall be well. <laughs> And that is your reading in its entirety, Scorpio. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please remember to push that like button and subscribe because I'm here every month. And um, don't forget to leave a comment. I'd love to hear if the cards resonated with you. If they didn't resonate, go check out last month's videos. See if, if, they re if the cards resonated for last month. And, um, and just engage with me because I, I haven't got a whole lot of comments lately. And um, I love interacting with, with you all. So... Anyway, I will talk to you again all next month. Thank you. Bye-bye.